Alright guys, today we are going to unbox and review the brand new Reolink fisheye camera. It's actually much better than you might think. There's a few things that I hate, but this thing have completely grown on me. Let's do it. There are two versions of this camera, the Wi-Fi version and the PoE version. We'll be taking a look at the power over internet version. This camera is not rated for outdoor use. However, I will be installing it outdoors, but under my porch where it's well protected from rain or snow. Inside the box, you'll find some paperwork. Moving on below that, you have the fisheye camera. And then if you dig a little bit deeper at the bottom of the box, you'll find another box, which includes the internet cable, a mounting plate, and some mounting hardware. The camera have a CMOS sensor along with a f1.98 mm and a f2.0 camera lens, a horizontal field of view of 180 degrees and a vertical field of view of 180 degrees, also a diagonal field of view of 180 degrees which gives you a total panoramic field of view of 360 degrees. The default video resolution is 2560 by 2560. 6.5 megapixels at 25 frames per second and at night the infrared night vision will allow you to see up to 8 meters or 26 feet. The camera supports two-way talk. There's also a micro SD card slot on board which supports max 256 gigabytes. Make note that right next to the micro SD card slot that's where you'll find the reset button. If you rotate the cameras just a bit you'll also find the speakers on the side of the camera. At the end of this cable you have a optional power port and also a internet cable port. The smart detection type on this camera is humans, there are no pets or vehicle detection. Let's take a look at this camera's performance and talk about some of the features and functionalities that I absolutely love, some things that I also dislike. If you've made it this far in the video, please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. The first thing that we need to talk about is the image layout. If you go to settings, display, scroll down to advance, at the bottom you'll see image layout. There are two options, expansion and fisheye. So for the image layout, you can only select one or the other, fisheye or expansion. This is what the expansion layout looks like. It's a flat image split into four different viewing points. These viewing points cannot be changed. This is what the fisheye layout looks like. It's a spherical shape and it's 3D interactive. Unlike the expansion view that's a flat image, you can get a bunch of different viewing points from the fisheye view within the Reolink app. Don't select expansion layout. Just go ahead and select the fisheye layout. It's much better. If you go to the camera's live view, you'll see a lot of options that are synonymous with all Reolink cameras. However, there are two different main options associated with the fisheye camera. There are the modes at the bottom and on the right hand side, there is a hand pointing in a circle. Select this when you want to utilize the 3D capabilities of the fisheye view. This is where it gets really interesting. If you go to modes, you have three different mountain options, ceiling, wall, or desk. My camera is ceiling mounted, so I'll go ahead and select ceiling. Under that, you have four different viewing layout. Fisheye, which is the spherical view. Dual panoramic, which shows the left and the right. Quad view, which splits it up into four different viewing points. And each viewing point is interactive, so you can select the 3D tool here and you can cater each section to exactly where you want to view. You could put one right here. You could put another one over here. You could put one here. And you could adjust this one here as well. This is awesome because the one camera gives you four different focal points that you can focus on. And you can zoom in and out and interact with each one as you please. It's like having four cameras in one. And the fourth option is a cylindrical view, which is my personal favorite. The way you interact with it is just pretty awesome, and the way it looks is pretty cool. The original fisheye view, it's also amazing. When you select the 3D tool, it gives you so many control. You can view it up, down, left, right. You can spin it around. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. Just keep in mind, though, that everything is recorded in this spherical view. The app is what gives you the 3D controller and the different viewing points. 
When you go to download and download this onto your mobile device, you will only be able to download the original fisheye view. If you want to get a video recording from a specific angle, even though it's an inconvenience, the best option would be to screen record it. That's honestly one of my biggest disappointment with this camera, it's the fact that footages can only be downloaded in the spherical fisheye view. My second complaint is that viewing points do not stay where you put them. For example, in the quad view, if I have a different focal point for each screen of where I want to monitor, once I exit that camera a few times, it resets to default, which is annoying because each time you have to go back and set each screen back to that specific viewing point. It's the same thing with the fisheye view. If there's somewhere that you would rather to focus on than the entire spherical view, once you exit the camera a few times, it resets back to the spherical view. That's very annoying. The NVR does not support the different viewing angles. Only the fisheye spherical view. You cannot get the dual panoramic, the quad view, or the cylindrical view. And you cannot interact with the fisheye view in 3D either. I'm currently using the RLN36. Reolink, please send out an update for this because I do love to review footages and watch my cameras through my NVR. That would be awesome. Notice that I have a piece of paper placed directly under the camera with different font sizes ranging from 12 to 150. Unfortunately, all the font sizes below 72, it's completely unrecognizable. For perspective, the camera is mounted about 9 feet away from this piece of paper. Now if I move the paper to where packages are usually dropped off, it becomes even more unrecognizable. You can only recognize the largest of font sizes. Honestly, the audio coming from this camera left much to be desired. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, have a good one.